lovers, Spiritual Playboy here for another adventure. This time I'm in Guatemala. I'll be in Guatemala for three weeks, spending most of my time in Lake Catatlan. But for today, my first day, I'm actually in Antigua, which uh, was once upon a time in the 16th century, the seat of the Spanish colonial rule over Latin America, including Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, Costa Rica, and Chiapas, Mexico. And uh, here in Antigua, I'm uh, one week before Easter, where uh, this is a town which really, really celebrates Easter and Lent. So it's going to be a very colorful and uh, adventurous time. So today I'm just going to be visiting this beautiful town, which is also a uh, UNESCO heritage site uh, with many uh, churches, and uh, ruins related to the 16th and 17th century. I have no idea what I'm in for. I just got here. Uh, I got here last night. It was dark. So just had breakfast and going to head out right now. So come and take this journey with me. Peace. So today I decided to wear my Jesus as a mirror ball t-shirt. <laughs> Seeing as a uh, this is a very Christian town and they'll probably appreciate it. It's actually made out of uh, sawdust of which they color the sawdust and then the, on top of it they put different offerings such as plants, fruits, so on and so forth. So those sawdust um, mosaics are called carpets. So this is the ruins of one of the original cathedrals built in Antigua by the Spaniards. It's ruins because there's been many earthquakes that happened in the 17th century which destroyed the cathedral. It's absolutely magnificent, stunning, the architecture as well as the condition it's in. And it's actually pretty amazing that we could walk almost anywhere in this area. This is held by multiple people during the Holy Week. Uh, so basically Holy Week, the week leading up to Easter, you have um, many people dressed in purple uh, doing parades in here it's called uh, La Procession. They're carrying uh, different effigies and flowers all in celebration of uh, Lent and Holy Week. The system of the churches back in the, in the, in the colonial time they had tunnels. Okay. They were able to inter interconnect with another churches. Okay. So if you go there, it's meant that a lot of humidity, but they have candles, you can see where it is over there. And it's all tunnels to different churches. Uh, yeah. Bello! <laughs> oh my god!
Kami. Kami. What does that mean? Your your Mayan sign is the own. Oh. You can read here what this meaning. San Francisco Church and Monastery. My name Saint, Saint Francis, I guess. And these are ruins from about four or five hundred years ago. I feel lucky to be traveling again. I feel lucky to be seeing the world. I feel lucky to have to be living in a duality of, you know entertainment and glitz and glam as well as you know connecting to the land and to the history and to my heart and i think this is what motivates me to really give my best in my work number one so i could continue traveling number two so i could continue doing what i'm doing and uh, to continue learning in essence I visit churches only because they impress me and I like to, I always believe that churches are built on power spots so I like to look for those power spots. I don't celebrate Christmas, I don't celebrate Easter. Uh, I celebrate a story of a man. That's it. I celebrate a story of a man uh, that inspires me. For me, Jesus was a rebel. He was a rebel that went against um, corruption spiritual corruption, religious corruption, political corruption, economic corruption and at the same time as he was talking about what's true which is the heart and love that giving charitable um, energy and I look forward to eventually visiting India and Tibet and places where I could learn about different religions and different spiritualities because in the end they all come back to the same thing. Mm -hmm. 